takes them. Actually, can you pass me one? Yeah. You want, I don't know if it's sparkling. I don't know which one is sparkling. This is sparkling. Wait. How's your tea? Nice. Good. I love that it's even kicking mm. right now. Did you did uh, you get new skis that are good? Today? Yeah. Yeah, new skis. Brand new skis. They're so yeah. nice. Yeah, new logos and everything. That's good. Yeah, they're yeah. like um, they have like the white at the top yeah. and then yeah, the yeah, light blue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got some yeah. that are like fast, but they also kick well. Yeah, and like, oh, they kick really easy. Yeah. So, so yeah. I love classic skis. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Yeah. The cold base too, like the S base or something. It's like you know, like they get some colder base. Okay, I yeah. Maybe it mine works. But it's just like at the end of the serial number, there's an S. Oh, okay, I don't think I've tested yeah. those okay. yet, but I know those, those are good too. But it's supposed to warm up a bit. Oh, nice. Wow, this thing is good. Yeah. yeah. I think it's Federico and Johanna. Oh, nice. I was going to say, I have it there. You want some croissant? Oh, oh, oh. This one's nice. <laughs> Nicer food than yeah. I get up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. No, no. Well, I'm going to go ski easy, but later. Just before dinner. You guys down by the truck too, or we're like we're in the sea cabin, so we oh, yeah, walk yeah, yeah. right across. Yeah, yeah. It's so on. nice. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. we're a bit further, but it's closer to dinner. Anyway. Our like from the big staircase, you, you keep walking down. And you gotta, you know, oh. and it's it's kind of weird, like you know, like the 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 downhill where Noah broke his leg. Oh God. So yeah, you go I do. The flat, and then you have a tiny little whoop. We're right there. So we call that in. Noah's corner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, that's. But then the mm. next year he came back and he's like, you can't pop. Nothing will happen to me here ever again. What could happen? And he was in his train of guys down the really fast downhill, the okay. straight one. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he came up on some guy and tried to just pull and miss yeah. and caught his skis. That's hot. We that's were like, holy shit. Oh, yeah. What are the odds? Oh, yeah. What's happening? Oh, yeah. no, no. Hey. 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 How are you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Where do you want to sit? Yeah, you want to be in the middle? Okay. Okay. Okay, it's uh, 4.30. Um, thank you for everyone for coming. Very warm welcome from uh, the International Ski Federation. Uh, thanks for coming. We are very happy uh, you are here. We are very happy we have uh, our athletes here. Jesse Diggins, Alex Harvey, Federico Pellegrino. Johannes uh, hesfeld Klebo. I think he's coming. He was confirmed to come, but uh, we'll start. Thanks a lot once again uh, for coming. We are all excited to, to begin with uh, the uh, uh, Olympic season, which is uh, ahead of us. Um, just to start, uh, I'll ask the athletes uh, a few questions uh, in English, and then uh, I believe they'll be available for some time for individual, inter individual interviews. And uh, maybe we can split somehow, make an Italian, uh, Norwegian and North American corner so that everyone is happy or you can sit together, whatever you wish. So uh, let's start with uh, Jessie, the only woman here at the press conference. <laughs> Thanks, Jessie, for, for showing up, for coming. Um, Two-time uh, world championship uh, medalist from uh, last year. How was your summer, the off-season preparation? Uh, how, how ready you are for, for the uh, Olympic season and uh, for the Ruka opening World Cup weekend? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I had a really good summer. It was really busy. Um, I really love training with my teammates, so I'm always at all of our team camps. And I think we have a really good team environment on the US ski team. And so we really support each other a lot and push each other in training to get better and faster. And um, and I've been really happy. And when I'm happy, I ski fast. So <laughs> I don't know what my shape is yet. I guess we'll find out this weekend. But um, training has been good this summer, and I'm excited for for a really fun year. So not only you have a great team spirit in the, in the US team, now you've got 
truck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> new for, for, for the US team. Um, how do you feel about that? How, how big improvement or how big support is it uh, for, for you as an athlete and for your techs and, and coaches? Yeah, uh, we're all really excited about our shiny new wax truck. Um, that's really fun for us, mostly because uh, our wax techs work really, really hard, and it's really nice that there's better ventilation in the truck so they don't get sick. They can do their job really well. It makes it faster when they're moving from country to country every weekend because, yeah, we don't get to go home in between, so they have no breaks. So uh, I'm really happy because I think this will be really nice for our staff. Um, gets us all in one room. And it also it looks really professional, and it's, yeah, it's really cool to be joining other countries in the World Cup in that kind of, yep, this is what we do for a living. We have a truck. <laughs> uh, looking back to the, to, to the season, uh, what's your plan for the winter? Of course, the Olympic Games is uh, the, the biggest goal for sure. But looking at the season overall, what's, uh, what's your plan, what's your strategy uh, where the key elements of the season are? Yeah, um, yeah, like you said, of course, the Olympics are the really big focus, and that's where I'm hopefully planning to peak my season, if all goes well. Um, but for me, I also really enjoy every single weekend, so um, I'm really excited for the Tour to Ski. I'm planning on doing that. Um, looking forward to some races in, uh, in a lot of the venues that I've performed well in in the past. Um, this year, it's pretty much... Uh, a lot of 10Ks and sprints, so i got to get really good at 10Ks and sprints, and I'm looking forward at the chance to really improve that and to, yeah, work on those events as we lead up to the Olympics. Thank you. Continue with uh, Federico. Um, maybe last season was not the easiest one for you, uh, but it ended well or it was crowned with a, with a big success. Um, how ready you are? Yeah, last season I, I had only one goal and and I catch it. So uh, at the end of the season I restarted uh, mindly and not only um, thinking on the Olympics but even on the entire World Cup. And uh, yeah. welcome, Clevo. <laughs> and uh, uh, for this season, uh, my goal is the Olympics. I know that I have three cards to play for uh, coming to Italy with uh, one medal. I will uh, uh, try in the sprint, in the team sprint and in the relay. And uh, before that, uh, I will uh, uh, do my best uh, all along the season, the World Cup season, because I know that uh, uh, physical, the physical shape uh, is really important, but even the mind uh, is important, so I need uh, results in World Cup for that. And yeah, I'm really quiet because I know that uh, my summer went uh, really well, and uh, I really want to to compete tomorrow to understand what is my 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 shape and my level uh, uh, in uh, in face to to the others. Sprinting topic, Johannes. Last season, you were sort of a comet, which entered the, the World Cup uh, circuit. Uh, this year, for sure, uh, is a different position for you. Uh, how different it is, actually. Uh, how 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 you feel mentally comparing to last year? Yeah, for sure, it's uh, it's a different uh, situation for me now because now it's uh, for me it's important to. To still have focused on the skiing, but uh, it's uh, many things around just going fast and skis that matters now because you have the media, you have the sponsors, and people are expecting very much. And uh, for sure, that's uh, difficult sometimes. But uh, you're just going to try your best, and uh, I think uh, the most important things uh, tomorrow is still just having fun and start competing. And yeah. I'm uh, really looking forward to to start a World Cup season tomorrow, and uh, for sure, I I hope uh, the season will be as same as last year. We all know how tough it is to get a ticket to the games, especially in the Norwegian team. So I don't want to ask about that. But looking as a season as a whole, where are the the, the goals or where's the the focus for you? 
for sure the Olympics is uh, is the goal. Uh, it uh, it has been my goal since uh, it has been a dream since I was a little kid, and uh, for sure when if it's possible to to compete there, I will. It will be a dream, but. Uh, First, we have to go a lot of World Cups and be able to get on a podium if you should go on the Olympics. So that will be the first focus now. And if it's uh, if I go fast, for sure the Olympic will be will be big, and I'll try my best. Thank you, Alex. Uh, for sure as well for you, the games will be the, the biggest thing this season. But uh, returning home uh, from from Lahti as, as a world champion, it, it must have been an amazing experience with uh, the World Cup final in, in Quebec City. Yeah. So uh, how much attention did you get actually uh, after the season and, and heading uh, towards the Olympic winter? No, it was good. I got uh, good attention, but in Canada it's easy. It's only positive because it's if you do well, the media, everybody likes it. But if, it's, if you don't do well, it's not like in Norway or Sweden. They don't really care. So it's, uh, it was just really positive for me. And uh, like uh, Johanna said, it's try to keep the focus on training well and try to, of course, you, you try to take the opportunity for different sponsors and things like that. But other than, than getting a bit more exposure, I just try to do the same in the summer. And for sure, the Olympic here is, it's really big. It's only every four year we get to the planet. And we, we as a team, can, the Canadians, we had kind of, we struggled a lot in Sochi. So we're, we planned uh, the, the next four years after Sochi for, for Pyeongchang. We started planning right away after the game. So it's a four year plan that is coming to an end now. And uh, we're just really excited. Training wise, how was your off season? And uh, yeah. how physically ready you are for the first World Cup of the winter? Uh, training was good. I tried to do the same thing as, as last year. Uh, so kept the same amount of training. It's the first year actually that, that in, I did not improve or of, or upgrade the amount of training. I kept the same. Uh, I feel I'm at the level now that it's if I do more, it's it's not going to help me. So the quality was really good. And we, we had the same training camp in... Uh, we had some camps just in Quebec and then some in, in Utah in the U.S., uh, some in Livigno, then back in the U.S. So it's same same training as previous years. And all the tests are a little bit better than the previous year. Not by much, but a little improvement every now and then. So it's uh, I'm confident, but I've never been so good. I think I've been on the podium only once before Christmas in my whole life. So I'm not expecting too, too much, but you never know. Thank you. Thanks. Best of luck to uh, all of you. Um, now I think... Uh, you can do one-on-ones.